Okay, my day is March 6, 2019. I'm just gonna post like, a little update here about the situation, um, about what's going on. Uh, I think it's important to give an update because I'm not gonna be... I am working right now on more of this idiotic proofs about my case uh, you know, I am surrounded with the people that were involved in MK Ultra, uh, and for all the wrong reasons. Uh, this proofs I'm going to present you with, uh, evidently, of course, I'm not going to go with what I have stated here first, because it would get me out of this immigration center. I cannot do that. I have to go and use those that are from outside of the center. It will give somewhat more uh, idea to you about what goes on. Stupid because this so-called proofs, you know, let's say that if you were kidnapped, let's say, and you were exposed to a torture and so on, you would need maybe about 1% of what I have submitted so far. For the police to be on your door and give you assistance and investigate immediately crime uh, kidnapping this is not a joke at all unless the government is involved in this case we have governments and that's why the whole thing is a joke stupid because all right in polish they say in english they say delay um I would say deliberate delay, uh, postponing, uh, hypocrisy, stupidity, pretending like they don't see and use this news to translate one to the people that, however, there will be a time uh, when, you know, this news is going to be used and it's going to come out and everything is going to be okay. With this last word, I totally disagree with because because of totally evident reasons. I don't actually have to go through this stuff. Uh, there is really no no logic that that would suggest that it's good that I go, that I present more proofs, so-called proofs. Um, Nazism, fascism in the United States of America is not a coincidence. I have well explained in my complaint how it happened and where the whole thing is going to go into what kind of extreme because it's happening on a parallel level with the russia if it wouldn't be it would not even be happening but putin is changing his own people big time it's a big turnover and his administration is appointing uh people that are loyal to him people he's surrounded with pledge loyalty to him not to the russia if you did realize that the oligarchs the uh Shoigu alone and so on these people pledge loyalty to him not to the russia so that means that he's got some really big plans for himself and i did explain well about what kind of plans uh some people bragged about him wanting to become a tsar but that's exactly what he wants to become um Hardly will he settle for less because he did make some real enemies too. So he will try to stay atop in a control just like Donald Trump, no matter for whatever price the cost might be. Okay, so that's why this is stupid because it's used as a delay. It's used to translate, you know, this proves, that the additional proofs that I'm going to submit, like how I have recognized people over there again in Gersh. Uh, how I have recognized vehicle and so on and stuff like that. Um, roommate sent me to the store to get him um, tobacco and the owner of that little trafika we say in Slovenian language, like a little, little, little store, almost like this trash bin here, a little bit bigger than that. Uh, confirmed me, confirmed my account when I asked him about his store that one already exists already existed not only 2005 2006 but even way before that which is like highly highly unusual it's the same man the same place um and much more than that okay i got i got a lot of stuff like this um like i said um 
this stuff is used to delay eventually remove me from the process uh, the people that are around me are not going to even see me or I should say have access to me in any way because they're going to society is so monitored that is just you know they can pretty much do and they do with the people with the person whatever they want it's just this is something I was taught in the past they're gonna do that it's gonna be then I'm gonna be so money toward the people not gonna even you know be able to come anywhere close the whole thing is just a lie at top of the lie uh, which is coming to an end because that's why this update um, yesterday I was told by a roommate to go inside of the office to sign some paperwork under MK Ultra, they have suggested like this. They suggested two scenarios, but a definite, definite would be because it did go into into that extreme. One scenario would be to basically get me like completely frustrated. You know, frustrated. I didn't get. Angry I did got yesterday because, and I shouldn't, because of the treatment I received during the last uh, appointment with immigration. All through it was well handled by this officer. They were nice to take uh, my application and were kind and concerned people. Uh, you could hear also some other stuff as I have explained. Camera also broken on that occasion because it wouldn't even allow me to take my belongings from that you know x-ray machine properly place them back in the pockets but it was just like grab this let's go I was like we got no time sure it was a five hour long interview you know but you know again another item broken and that's a really good camera too and you know just 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 kind of um treatment of an individual like this in 2019 uh, all right, uh, maybe if you're from Poland, or maybe if you're from Russia, it, may, it might be normal to you. But when if, when you experience, you know, uh, the West, when you are in the U.S., when you when you go across the Europe and so on, you see and you observe how you're treated like a human being, uh, then you know you're you're just not too happy about it. Especially what was done, you know, that they break broke all other equipment and so on. It's just not it's just not a really acceptable thing okay so I got pissed off but I realized I really realized I didn't wake up happy this morning I'm not happy at this point gotta say that that these people eventually are angry it was a lot of anger it was anger 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 here in Poland when I was brought it was anger 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 I would have kids literally sit around me kids you know 20 and so on from the area here that would you know they would like stare at me drink beer and and and, and repeat kurba 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 and so on so frustrated so angry and it's okay because those are kids now the problem is that these kids eventually they, they they do grow up and you know the question is what exactly do they live for? It's like I have written on my news site, you know, very angry people. Um, I'm not gonna miss my job, which I believe was to, you know, like. I would say, who live to hate, literally. And I'm not going to miss my job, which was nothing else to, I guess, to make them feel good about themselves when they look themselves inside of the mirrors every morning. You know, people who create, people who search, you know, for something like this, create obviously something like this yet again they have done it in 2018 mk ultra was not enough torture was not enough so they feel good about themselves so that person does something and it makes them feel good about themselves so they see they see themselves as actually as a decent human beings it's pathetic it's filthy uh and it's something as i have suggested on my new site uh 
A life not worthy to live when the only thing you're proud about are mental asylums. This is, this is just really pathetic. I live to love, not to hate. And so it's going to be hard for them to hire another me uh, for that kind of opportunity, uh, which I did unfortunately somehow settle in the past through Donald Trump. The two people that appeared inside of the bureau today, if we go back to possible outcome right now, according to MK Ultra scenario, were people that were used at the final stage of MK Ultra. Uh, the previous people that were involved in MK Ultra, you know, something I, I was told not to even say. Uh, girls, everybody was inside of the office already in 2005 2006 these are all time employees about whom i have a whole mountain to say um i might not just to, just to spare them you know just because it's a private thing i don't want to i don't want to go and, and and do if if there's nothing good i can do for the people in that case i'm just gonna skip that that portion of that right so I was told that once I see these people inside, what will happen is it will come to an end because the truth is that these older employees that knew about this case, the state employees, state employees, and these are good employees when it comes to Poland, when it comes to Russia, I don't mean all the people that they would leave for the hate, leave to hate, I should say, but for the hatred. I just mean this top government people who make the decisions, but that's bad enough because they screw the whole picture about the countries, you know. I think that majority of Polish and Russian people are good, but what's happening on the top is just really a disgrace. I have to fix that issue. Okay, once I'm going to see this people, because these all-time employees knew me for so long time, and they got they got affectioned by by my case it, it is a touchy case yeah it's a heartbreaking case uh that these people would come it's a nice couple they would transfer them here all other like i said they have transferred them elsewhere now you're talking about uh i don't know you're talking about maybe what maybe i don't know maybe uh, i don't know maybe five different people um transfer to another locations from here they would appear because they would not want to handle my case at the end the end of mk ultra suggested two things one was to basically frustrate me through immigration process itself which was what can i say i mean what what is there to add to that i mean I, you know it's like you know I, I, I think I did express myself pretty well that, you know, you don't go and consider individuals application, political asylum application, you must, you must fucking fear this guy as a government that you are afraid to even look at a paper that you, that you take, that you take like a little protocol from European Union and, and you hide yourself behind that protocol, shaking in fear. Uh, basically saying, ah, oh, here it is, here it says here that if you're from another European Union state, you cannot apply here in this country because we are also European Union members, say this is so pathetic, hey, boy, this is, this is insane, I mean, it's like saying there's no corruption, there's no criminality on the territory of European Union, you know, 500 plus something million people, I mean, this is just completely nuts. Slovenia just happens to be, I think, the third or the sixth country in the world in suicide rates. You know what that is? In suicide rates. And out of one and a half million people, if it's even one and a half million people, it's over 30,000 every year that escapes across the border for the job, for, for a different life, not for the job. You understand this and you know saying stuff like this this is the craziest thing i have ever heard for and it's happening inside of the european union it definitely concerns other european union member states which are going to have to have which are going to have even harder time to deal with 
you know, this Russian authority, because this is what, 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 you know, Poland and Slovenia and, you know, all these Slavic countries, they're nothing more than just, you know, like, I'm not going to say over towns, but like suburbs of Russia, that's all there is to it. And they are, even geographically, is like this. Politically, the same thing. That's what this is. It's going to be hard time. It's going to be hard time because, because of the people, because the way, the way it functions in Russia. The way it functions in Russia is just completely awkward. And so it's going to be hard time. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be more difficult for everybody. It's going to be more difficult for the U.S., which already have experienced like death threats from Vladimir Putin, you know, he has insane ideas how he's just gonna go and nook you out of the existence and stuff like this. He actually placed a map and gestured, you know, all kinds of scenarios how the nukes are gonna fly on you. He's suggesting that top Russian political society is mentally ill. They're ill, they're sick people. Never mind, really, never mind stuff I have previously mentioned. Never mind historically what they have done to people over there. I mean, there's no, there's no other country that have gone as far as in with insanity as Russia did. That, you know, they would just not allow people to sleep and stuff like this. Tortured them mercilessly and so on. Murdered, starved 15 million Ukrainians to death. This no no other country did like this, and I don't know how good this is going to do to the U.S. Um, where you don't even have to go and look anymore for the KGB people, for the Russians from KGBs from Russia who kill uh, Russian spies. But instead, like Luke Perry, who was involved in this case, are already assassinated from the White House orders come out for assassination. You don't even have to worry about anymore that kind of stuff. So I don't know how much this is going to make world better, safer place. I think world is really screwed up. And this kind of delay, this kind of opuznienie mitrenga, you know, hypocrisy, lies that they translate to you this is going to be really costly according to a family which i do not like burgers over there in novo Mesto. but the truth is that they are good for something everything is good for something okay these people they told me that they participated and very well acquainted with this case father is a lawyer and they were involved especially here with these people here from the city in grotniki they're also lawyers they knew about the whole deal, deal that would take down about two billion people, two billion life, if, if it's gonna, it's gonna eventually cost. This is where the whole thing is going. Duterte, uh, Chinese, Jinping, Merkel, Macron, unfortunately, British royals for whom. Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna hear another news in respect to direct relations with Russia about the stuff I have talked about. They have given the military technology to the Russia. I know so because the news I have published yesterday, I was told in advance it's gonna be eventually published. I was told by people who investigated them. And you're talking about the British government people that there will be no more, there will be no, there will be no other information in respect to them. So I'm going to have to use that information to point it out because there was no, there was no like direct links that they would like place them in situation that could be used to expose them. So you're not going to hear anymore. There will be no news from mainstream media that will suggest their involvement with the Russia. But these are the people, along with Donald Trump and so on, who are interesting in seriously big time the population of this planet. Okay, so it's gonna be bad. Uh, while you're watching this, while you're getting entertained, rather than taking action, you know, actions as you should, as I have explained, uh, give your witnessing, give your account. If you are over there, like I'm asking people, you know, say it. You know, and people say like. Awkward. No, everybody's afraid to say directly. Say it out there. You know me. It was a lot of people from Hollywood here. It was a lot of po politicians, Hollywood, business people were here. You can save a lot of lives. You can do yourself a favor. 
yourself a favor. You don't know if you're not next Perry, Luke Perry. And it was a whole bunch of other people that were killed too. Uh, or you can just stick your head inside of the ground and watch this. Watch for what's next, for what's coming next. Let yourself surprised. How about that? All right, that was uh, that was pretty much uh, what I was gonna say. Another scenario, of course, involved the psychiatry that they they're gonna start with, uh, you know, harass with, uh, you know, with psychology, psychiatry, and stuff like that. Uh, deny the whole thing and so on. And either way, it would get me out of here. Um, there is much more about it, but some things I'm not going to even say because I might actually even use them. Something I would not want to do, but it looks like it's coming to an end. We got a new people uh, inside of the office. The papers I was given to sign were papers. Um, <laughs> it was a response I finally got in respect to my work permit in Poland, uh, which, yeah, of course, gestured that I don't have the right to search and so on. I mean, just a waste of time to go over that even. Nasty reading. Uh, I might go when I have time, but there is so much other stuff that I have to do. So, uh, I, I don't know much what else to add to this stuff. You're probably not going to see me so much on... Uh, like this live going live like this because i'm gonna go and and it's it's difficult boy in this library here that, that this library here in grotniki it's like when i go inside in there the hell breaks out it's yelling it's screaming it's they turn on they turn off the light and i am blamed for everything disturbing people and so on and it's all kinds of mess that goes on you can not use the computer you want you don't have you can install the programs uh, that would help you find duplicates it's kind of a difficult to have like 4.5 gigabytes maybe three something plus hundred audio recordings and go over each to find out which one is a duplicate and so on and stuff like that that would be like really helpful and then when it comes to Gersh then that's another situation again specific library only where you can really use computers and you cannot use either Windows Movie Maker or another um, movie making program video making program because it's again the same thing you need a password from administrator and this administrator understand is not going to help you bow bow and stuff like this uh, they would not contact uh, allow not even for windows movie maker or cc cleaner to be installed on the computers all right that's all i want to say in respect to this stuff uh there's always a way they find a way out to make things happy i can tell you that everything is okay but i really don't like uh you know i i really don't like violence i don't like violence and i don't like you know hatred you know the two things i have experienced big time here so no more like it used to be before where you would get somebody beat you up with uh with a baton but so obvious behind the doors they do it so i wish you all the best wherever you are take care of yourself here you know my location you can even come for a visit whatever uh, let me know uh thanks and take care of yourself wherever you are